Thanks so much for clicking on this video. The question I want to answer today is can I down tune a short scale bass and still have it sound good? Stay tuned. So the idea for this video came from one of the comments I received in my drop D tuning video. So huge shout out to the person who made that comment. And if any of you ever have any video ideas uh, you'd like to see me make, if I have the resources to do it and can physically make it happen, or try my best to make it happen. So leave some ideas in the comment section below. Firstly, I want to clarify some of the terms. The difference between down tuning and drop tuning is as follows. Down tuning the bass means decreasing the pitch of all of the strings. Whereas drop tuning, or more commonly drop D or drop C tuning, refers to only decreasing the pitch of the lowest string, sometimes the lowest two strings if you are a guitar player, but as a bass player, most typically you're only dropping the lowest string. You may be asking the question, why bother with down tuning at all? I think there are four real world uh, reasons to consider down tuning a bass. The first one is to protect the singer. Sometimes the recording is made in a certain key, but if you're going out on a long tour, maybe your singer doesn't want to have to hit those high notes for you know weeks or months uh, at a time. So it's quite common for the entire band to uh, decrease the pitch or the key of the entire song by a semitone or sometimes a full tone, sometimes even more, to protect the singer's vocal range. Uh, if you ever watch live footage on, on YouTube and compare it to the studio version, you may sometimes go, that sounds different. And it's because sometimes they're touring in a different key. So that's the first reason, is to protect the singer's vocal range. The second reason comes from uh, playing with either a lot of uh, horn players or guitar players who play in a downtune E flat uh, tuning, for example. So if you're playing a lot of classic rock, a lot of Jimi Hendrix uh, style uh, tunes, then oftentimes the guitar player is playing in E flat standard to get that sound, all those flat keys, you wanna be able to hit a low note. And if you don't have an E flat, then you might have to reach for a five string. And that kind of leads to the third reason. Maybe you don't wanna play a five string, or maybe you don't have a five string. Uh, for people with smaller hands, sometimes playing a, a wider neck instrument is just uncomfortable. Or maybe you just need to travel light and you don't wanna to have to bring another bass with you. So by down tuning your bass to a lower pitch, you can get those lower notes without adding a fifth string. The fourth reason, and perhaps the reason I'm most interested in, is you can actually get a different tone from your instrument by down tuning the entire instrument. The mid range sounds different and the high strings sound uh, less pingy. So if you are uh, you know, looking to expand the sonic palette of a particular bass, or if you're just looking for a new inspiration uh, and new fingerings to try, then changing the tuning of your bass can perhaps spark some new creativity. So in my mind, those are the four major reasons for considering to down tuning a bass. As a sonic reference, let's first hear this bass in E standard tuning along to a drum track. Here we go. So that's the reference there the, with this bass in E standard tuning, which is how I have it right now. Mm -hmm. 
Let's now down tune this bass to E flat standard. Okay, so now this bass is now uh, tuned E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. I forgot to mention earlier that these are Dunlop super bright nickels, uh, gauges 100 to 40. So they're on the lighter side already to, uh, to begin with. And I'll talk more about that at, uh, towards the end of the video. But here we are in E flat standard tuning. Even with just down tuning by a semitone, the bass already feels different. But let's put it up against the drum track. So that playing example was with this bass in E flat standard tuning. Let's down tune the bass down another semitone to D standard tuning. So now this bass is in D standard tuning. So the pitches are D, G, C, and F. In terms of feel, these strings are now pretty loosey-goosey. Uh, very easy to play, but as I hope you can hear, the tone has actually quite changed. The mid-range has opened up. The whole tonality of the bass feels less taut, uh, and the high strings are considerably rounder than they were in E standard tuning. <laughs> Now, depending on what you're going for, that may or may not be uh, a good thing because um, the notes certainly are less well defined and less articulate compared to E standard tuning. But let's put D standard tuning along to a drum track. Here we go. Let's try down tuning this bass another semitone. So the C sharp standard tuning. So now this bass is tuned in C sharp standard tuning. <laughs> Now, 
Now I'm gonna say for this particular bass uh, and how I've had it set up, this tuning is too low for this bass. The strings are, uh, they're too floppy in feel and the low string, the notes are no longer uh, as articulate as I would like it to be. And now it's just flab. So that kind of leads me to one of the major issues with down tuning a bass, and that is the setup. For today's experiment, I have not touched the setup of this bass at all. I have simply gone from East Inner tuning and I just uh, tuned it down. With decreased string tension, uh, the neck shape is going to change because you have less strings trying to pull the neck this way. So the biggest issue you're gonna have are notes fretting out and you're gonna get fret buzz. That can be alleviated either by adjusting the neck relief or by increasing the saddle height. If you are really committed to down tuning a bass and, and having it stay there, then you might need uh, a whole new setup to accommodate that new tuning. For this particular bass, I can comfortably get it down to D standard, but anything lower than D standard, I, I think this particular bass will need heavier strings uh, and also a new setup if that was the way I want it to go. Hopefully uh, this video will answer the question of whether or not you can down tune a short scale bass. In short, the answer is yes, you can. Uh, I think you have to be realistic about how low you can go uh, with a short scale bass, but I think it can be done. And I think down tuning a bass can open up new sonic possibilities and new tones and hopefully spark some new creativity. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.